rifle that Martin and I um, have made over the last four years. Um, it was reverse engineered from a few uh, drawings and photos and a few measurements. Uh, the locks were carved out of uh, uh, cold rolled uh, steel and the internals uh, I found a Davis uh, lock that was very similar to the original Lucan so uh, rather than reproduce all of those I, I used those internally. The uh, cock was uh, from the 1777 French pistol that uh, I acquired the uh, cock from Jess Milo from the uh, uh, rifle shop and uh, the rest was uh, and carved. The trigger uh, was cold forged from flat iron. Uh, the trigger guard was initially forged in iron. Uh, Martin and I were only uh, able to find photos initially and uh, it looked that it was iron but when we went up to Washington to Tacoma to see the original you could see immediately it was also uh, brass or bronze and so uh, after altering it a little bit, uh, the iron one, we made the mold to be uh, cast into uh, bronze also. Uh, the barrel, uh, the rifling uh, is a poly groove, 15 lands, 15 grooves. On this, it's uh, 1 in 56 because that's what I had available in my uh, my rifling machine. Uh, the uh, front and rear sights are made by a folding technique that was uh, um, used frequently in that time period. Uh, the pipes were uh, fabricated from flat sheet brass and the wedding bands uh, I made uh, a uh, uh, punch to to reproduce the wedding bands of a thin, thick, thin, and uh, the side plate is also out of uh, a uh, cold rolled steel that uh, uh, we reproduced and then shaped and uh, finished with files and then hardened. The screws are all fire blued, uh, not chemically blued. The uh, capture arm and the lug uh, were uh, filed from uh, cold rolled steel also and then case hardened. Uh, the wood on this is uh, American walnut which is probably what the original was also and uh, it is a very thin piece pretty difficult to get this area to come out, but uh, after a few attempts we were able to do that. Um, the air reservoir uh, is covered with leather. We aren't sure if the original had a, a leather cover on it originally, but uh, it uh, is uh, iron. It, the original is in iron right now. Um, the original uh, was about 450 to 500 cc's of air and the prototype we were able to produce uh, a uh, buttstock that had the uh, similar volume and was able to shoot over 40 shots with a full pump. Um, it was very difficult to try to reproduce that three more times so uh, the uh, butt flask is made out of a high pressure tubing that Martin fitted the uh, valve into and capped and then we shaped it and covered it with leather. Uh, it's about uh, 150 cc's of air and uh, pumped up between 700 and 750. Uh, we've been getting around uh, 12 to 15 shots uh, consistently probably around 9 or 10 with good velocities. Sure. I think that's just about it. Oh, uh, 
this is a muzzle loading air gun, so um, you have the ramrod. It's kind of cold today. <laughs> I'll just use the other one. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, now, we've uh, been told that these were either dry balled or bare balled or uh, put with patch and we uh, have tried it both ways and I think that for these it works a lot better with a patched ball oh here and uh, it's loaded just like a regular black powder muzzle loader that you take the patch set it on the muzzle and then the ball uh, I found that uh, a uh, uh, 31 caliber ball with a patch was uh, gave me the best results and then you push it on home where it's stopped just like a regular muzzle loader and then to make it fire you pull the cock back it has a, uh, a half cock and full cock to full cock position there and then you just pull the trigger and um, just put it right into the tree right there if you would into the tree yeah oh uh, how about at the ground of the tree okay here goes okay cool so that's about that's about it very good.